Hello to the beautiful people. This is Dash with an at-a-glance look at Quest for Infamy. Quest for Infamy is a classic point-and-click adventure game by Infamous Quests, in which you assume the identity of Mr. Rowan, a man trying to start over after running away from a shady past. Did I say shady past? What I meant was he tried to bang a Baron's daughter. You don't believe me? Fine. Roll clip. See, he was all grabby, it was disgusting, but whatever. Anyway, you get to see all of this if you actually just click on Prelude. Otherwise, you can jump into the main story and Restore, of course, is for Restore Game. So let's have a look. Okay, so we're starting off. We've got away from the Baron. We've hitched a ride with the donkey and cart and the guy with the straw hat, if you can see that. Classic graphics. Well, here you go. Is this okay? Yes, this is fine. Thank Meet you. the devilish womanizing Rowan well, thank you, sir. and Swat, the well, American sounding dude. Right. I, I'm sorry, Swat. We're done here. So this isn't King's Quest. I know you're thinking that. At first I was affronted by the graphics. I was like, oh, my eyes aren't used to this because playing new games, but it's very charming. It's very pleasant, except for this girlish looking man. I trust your travels were not too unpleasant. No, there are uh, Udo. Fine, yeah. Except Whoa! A mind the reader. So there's a lot of gosh. conversation. As you'd expect in point and click. I don't want to skip over too much and I, I don't want to seem like I, you know, don't care because it, this is what it's all about. This is one of stop and smell the flowers kind of games where you enjoy the little things. And I mean, I'll show you how, how great it is. One, you get your inventory. Fantastic. Then you've got your hotkeys. So if you look at getting started, it uh, it shows you all of these. Now this is very important because if if you just press like W L H etc to change the icons, these icons are don't automatically change over. And what I mean is, left click means I'm going to walk. Right click means I'm going to look. Like I look at the sign. The sign reads Volksville. It looks like it was carved a long time ago and could use some cleaning up. Beautiful. You hear the narrator. That's awesome. But if you keep right clicking, it'll just cycle through the different things you can do, whether it's touch the sign. To it out. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, you, you don't. don't. Beautiful. Okay. And then you can talk to, I guess, yourself. You crazy. Try talking to someone else. So the narrative obviously drives this. You try with all your might. There must be a better way. To See, so... Obviously, there are things that you can and cannot do, and that becomes very, very apparent. The the narrator, obviously, is is something that just makes this game so worthwhile. Like, the barrel, I nearly lost my shit when I, I first clicked on this. Look at the barrel. You see the barrel, which is unremarkable. But then you think of how funny it would be if you had some angry dwarfs shoved in there yelling and pounding on the wood. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me sound like a dwarf going. <laughs> it evokes. You gotta have an imagination for these games. Obviously, it's not gonna work. The R button, like as I said before, there are hotkeys that you can check with F2. Run. Oh, thing of beauty. But for now, we're gonna go to Udo. I think his name was. Have a quick chat because these games, there's no arrows. It's not gonna say, hey. You know, here's a map marker. You have to listen to conversation. Pick up those cues on destinations, people of importance. And that's what we'll start with. So, Udo. Hello, Udo. Well, hello there. And then I'll get to either buy something from him. And I mean, this is cool because I can... Uh, you've got look, pay for, and steal. I can... You don't know what it is, whether it's his sexually ambiguous face or just a rare case of feeling nice. You really don't want to steal from Udo. <laughs> Sexually ambiguous face. Udo, you fucking brilliant. So, let's have a look. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do with snake oil, rubbing alcohol, oil, or perfume. I've only got 314 blies, they're called. I think I'll buy some oil because I have no idea if this is a quest item or I'm just going rogue, but it's a lot of fun. So, back to chatting to Udo. Hey there, Udo. Good 
I clicked that way too fast. See, it's it's a slower game. You can't just go rogue. So let's talk about Volksville. Ah, the people's village. You'll not find a finer, no friendlier town around these parts. Everything's kept ship shape around here by all Rayford. So Rayford, he's important. He likes to keep things nice and orderly. And for your amusement, there's plenty of shops and sights to see. You can check out the inn or maybe visit the general store. There's a tobacconist for all your exotic smoking and spice needs. Oh, and so he's listing everywhere that you can go and then you can speak further about it. The the east of town. So east, east part of town, you're going to pick up these things. Again, I'm just going a little bit quick because I just want you guys to... You have nothing. I don't have nothing to say to that. Get out of my face. So say I've played this a little bit and again this is the loading little icon that little skull on the screen means you can't do shit so this guy's obviously come out um and it loads for these things so I'm gonna go to the inn obviously I've played this a little bit before and and uh I really enjoyed the inn I don't know why what maybe a quaint and lovely place you actually bet the rooms and beds are nice here for a change exactly it's nice you got safari man here innkeeper the wench though she's not she's a lovely girl I, I won't speak ill of her but how about we have a quick chat to her first whatever it is you're again <laughs> she's busy working okay she, she's not interested we'll talk to the innkeeper then hello there stranger now that's a nice accent castle <sighs> from the old country oh, they are innkeeper. castle's my name this as you may have guessed is my inn oh isn't he nice Lovely. Love the view. And aren't I sleazy for liking I the daughter? My best, and I promise the rooms are cozy. Excellent. I assume you'd be wanting lodging. So yes, he talks about it. lodging and all that good stuff, but again, to appreciate this game, you're going to have to actually go through the conversations, try and extract things out of people. Just don't skip through like you should probably leave him alone until after the execution. So here we go. So now I can't even speak to him anymore, but he was a he was a lovely chap and you get to expand the dialogue further and about his daughter, which is it's a lot of fun. He he doesn't take any guff from anybody. Again the loading screen, so something's happened. I'm just gonna skip forward and we'll have a look at the execution. I don't believe that it can go ahead at this point. Um, it's a little bit weird. You have to really click the edge of the screen. It's, you know, you're not used to, I guess, point clicks. Then you're not going to be used to having to go right against the side of the screen and clicking this. It you can't. Like they're getting ready for the execution, but it's not quite time yet. I suggest you explore more of the time. That's what I would do, but I'm not you. Sadly, I'm just a disembodied voice. So this guy's still freaking hilarious. Um. So you got to go talk to people and explore, which is, it's great that it doesn't let the story progress until you actually run around the town. And I mean, you, there's a lot to, to do. This guy's pretty freaking out of control. He sounds like the dude out of, um, oh, the Mighty Boosh. Oh, Sorry, I know that I'm shouting, but I lost control of my voice in a freak accident. And now I always talk like this. That's unfortunate, sir. Well, could be worse. Rayford stations me here, so I don't talk to a lot of people. Good call. I agree. Well, <laughs> I'm going to continue standing guard. You have a great day. <laughs> the guy's a hero. National treasure. Love him. That's some good writing. You could feel something was amiss when you got here. You prepare for combat. Now, combat works with kind of three second intervals to perform actions. Um, you have your basic stab, slash, hack, and block to choose from. I assume the combinations are kind of a rock, paper, scissors, which is pretty cool, as some of the attacks I use actually missed. It's a nice little system, breaks it up because it's not forever. You actually do have to move within a set amount of time. And it's something new. I really, really enjoyed this game. Well done. You've defeated yet another foe, solidifying your position as a total badass. That's all for Quest for Infamy. Great game, great nostalgic fun. I'm going to leave you with a piece of mood music. Just remember to check out questforinfamy.gamepedia.com for all the info you could ever need on the game. It gets updated as the game does, or feel free to even make an article or edit one yourself. Throw something in there about it. Also remember to like and subscribe. We really appreciate those two clicks. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.